We're going to be taking a look at another video today, and this one is a video from this past season. It is a very cool video because on this hunt, I mean, everything went perfectly. Um, and and it's, it's kind of one of those hunts where it's my style of hunting that I really enjoy, which is kayak hunting. So I was able to get into a marsh and hide really well with my kayak, and the birds were there. The birds were doing it. It was just a fantastic hunt. So let's go ahead and watch this together and give you guys a little commentary. Uh, make sure to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button. It helps out a lot. So please take a second, hit that thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And if you're subscribed, hit the notification bell so you can get a notification whenever I post a new video. I've also got some of these hats left. So those of you guys who are bottomland fanatics, I've only got a handful of these bottomland hats left, and uh, I will probably not do bottomland again. So, get yours while you can. The Outdoor Limits bottomland hat. Go ahead and pick one up while they are still available. Hats are hard to get right now, so whatever hats I've got, I've got. It's uh, it's not looking good on the hat front at this point, which kind of sucks. So, yeah, pick up a hat while you can. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this video, though. I titled it, um, they didn't know I was there. So, I mean, it's, it's a pretty insane hunt. So if you, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this from this season, but, um, let's check it out. We're back at it again. I got the quack yak loaded down and we're going to do a little layout hunt out of the kayak today. Um, so. I don't know how today's going to go. I'm still waiting on that cold front. It's supposed to come later this week and it should push a bunch of birds in. And I'm really curious to see what's happening in this marsh that we're going to today. So I'm packing light. I have two dozen of the uh, last pass mallards that I've been using. They're a little smaller, but they fit great in the kayak. I love those and decoys. I also have my motion ducks. So we're using 28 decoys plus one spinner today. Um, yeah, those last pass decoys are sweet for the kayak. I mean, you can fit so many of them in there. It's awesome. We'll see how it goes. I'm excited. But I got to get going, so I'll catch up with you guys when we get everything set up. Just kind of putting the final touches on everything. Got all the decoys out, and uh, it's filming in the dark. I tell you what, guys, it's a pain. Hold on it is a pain. Second. Filming in the dark is the biggest pain in the butt. Um, there we go. I got my kayak. Working on brushing it in. I'm tucked back up in some uh, tall grass kind of stuff. Got two dozen decoys at the motion ducks and one spinner out there. The wind's kind of switching from my left side to kind of, it's going to kind of switch today. So I'm kind of set up for that wind switch. I think having the hide be really good is going to be important. Having motion on the water. Always more make sure you know what the also, wind's going the to do here, later in the morning. Up a bunch of ducks. So they're either night and night always sure make sure your hide is good. And, uh, the full moon. If you've got plenty of time like I did on this hunt, brush in your blind. Make everything look good. Make sure you're set up right because it makes a big difference. And hopefully we get a few. Just got to make sure we get that motion in the water and make sure the hide's buttoned up. I think I've got a good feeling about this. You can hear me hitting my shot cam. I don't, I don't believe I called at these birds. This was, I, I, I guess you'll see. They tricked me there. They had me thinking they were going to just dump. Yeah, there really wasn't much wind that day. Yeah, I, I didn't call at them, and I was just using my motion ducks spreader and uh, just putting motion into the decoys. That was fast and at an awkward angle. 
But those birds were like at 10, 15 yards. That didn't happen exactly how I wanted it to, but beggars can't be choosers, right? Worked them in nice and slow with that motion ducks and they did exactly pretty much exactly what you want no not really i was happy because i shot a duck but green, they green. came in off my right side it, it was a really weird and green. awkward shot because when you're layout hunting it's very difficult my to swing over really to your right over there yeah so those ducks they kind of finished off to this side which i really don't want so i don't know we'll see what the next group does we got a nice green head should have had a couple more, but I don't know. Green, baby. I don't think I even touched my call on that. I was working them in with that motion ducks. They were eating it up. I don't think they could see me in my hide, so that's good. Um, they were kind of wanting to finish off to the side here, which I'm not a fan of. So I don't really know what to do here. So I think I'll just wait for the next group and see what they do, but solid 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 group working in only got one which is a bummer but you know you can't win them all <laughs> we'll get this guy set down over here and we'll wait for the next group to show up i got my hide perfect. looking good on this hunt perfect perfect that's what i like spend a little time yeah. touch it up brush it up Mm -hmm. makes a difference the great thing about the kayak blind is like you can just tuck in somewhere just real stealthy just tuck in there and be gone but you got to paddle a kayak a long ways which that's not always fun especially in the wind with a lot of decoys <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, man. I missed my opportunity. Oh, okay, man. I had to make it. That's happened too many uh, times. The wind is not doing exactly what the weatherman said it was going to do. So, I finally got a good beat on where the wind was coming from. It was kind of swirling, so I couldn't really tell. But, um, moved into some thicker brush, which is perfectly good for the hide. Um, I had to move the decoys out and kind of set up for a north wind. So I was kind of set up backwards. Um, I, it's just weird how the wind does that, but it could just because we're in this little hole down in here, the wind's swirling funny. But I was working some ducks and they just didn't want to give it up. And I think it's because of the wind direction. So made some adjustments, got the hide figured out. We're so I'm kind of curious what you guys opinions are on camo patterns because i've got habitat waders and a habitat jacket from final approach but that's a uh what i'm wearing in this video is a max 5. i feel like max 5 doesn't blend as well into that brush the really tan um grass the max 5 doesn't seem to blend as good as the habitat does i mean Optifade does a really good job of blending into this type of stuff. So I'm just kind of curious what you guys, your guys' opinions are on camo and what matches that type of environment the best. The worst part is when you're working ducks, you're calling at them, you see them, and then they go behind you, and then they disappear for a while, and then they kind of show up right over here. And just like that. I think I worked this group forever. Like, you guys just saw, like, the very snippet of it where they were finishing. 
Oh, double. Nice. Mallards, bro. A little bit of wind helps. 20 gauge putting in the work. You know I was wanting that third shell to go out another duck, but I, I chose not to. That's what I'm talking about right there. They came out of, like, they kind of came out of nowhere. I saw them, they worked their way down into the marsh, and, uh, and I lost them for a little while, and then they decided to show back up, and they just dumped right in. That was awesome. The wind is definitely switched. It's gone from a prediction of southwest, which it's definitely not, to uh, north. And it's getting cloudy and cold. Guys, we got two more mallards to shoot, and we'll be limited out. 20 gauge strikes again. I don't know what else to say. I'm shooting green heads in the marsh out of the kayak. Oh man, this is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. One more group that does the same thing. We'll shoot two more and then we'll be out of here. Limited out. I haven't had a limit this season, so getting a limit today would be pretty sweet. I think the, uh, the only big duck limit I've had was when I was in Nebraska, but it was like five teal and one spoonie, so. It'd be nice to shoot a limit of mallards today. All right, let's mm. get back at it. <laughs> I just love watching them work. It gets me so excited, it's like, when I'm hunting and I can I can work them for five or six passes and on this day I had the marsh all to myself so I was I wasn't competing with anybody else which is great um, nobody calling birds off no other decoy spreads so it was a pretty prime situation in a prime spot on prime birds so it was pretty fun it would have been a good two-man shoot maybe a three um, decent sized groups but I feel like if it was just me and one other guy, we would both limited out three. Um, there's a chance we could have been shooting uh, two guns at one bird. So, um, I don't know. Seems like it, it was just a kick back, laid back, you know, wait 15 minutes, here they come hunt. It was cool. See, so I didn't, I didn't see the big group on the right until later and I said well I guess this is the best that they're gonna give me I'm gonna just shoot the duck and get on my way there's another green head they worked and worked and worked and worked and they just didn't want to give it up yeah that, that was a situation where it was like okay this is the best they're gonna give me I'll take my single out here in the front that came down low enough and god that's pretty and we'll wait for the next group. That group just worked and worked and worked and did not want to commit all the way. So the wind blew my uh, blind door open. And I'm like, well, I can take a shot on this one or I can risk scaring them all away. So I took a shot on that one. And just a beaut greenhead, baby. Up to four. Need one more and we're limited out. This wind is kicking, birds are moving. This is a great day to be in the marsh. Um, the hide is amazing in here, especially with my yeah. kayak. Like, the hide that. is stupid. They don't oh. even know I'm here. So, this is what I've been waiting for. Yeah, baby. All right. One more duck, one more duck, one more duck. God, this is perfect. Up top. If I remember right, I shoot a hen. Here they come. I was like laying flat on my back taking that shot.
And that was a hen. Well. Uh, there we go. I thought I messed that one up. Yeah. Came through I thought I missed. Up. And he was gone. Well, boys. I messed up the Drake only limit. But that's all right. We just shot our first Mallard limit of the year, baby. Would you just look at that hide though? <laughs> yeah, that hide's that's stupid. And that you always feel more confident when you're hunting doubles. and your hide's good. Mallard hen to end it off. The first Mallard limit of the year. And we packed light today. We brought two dozen decoys plus the motion duck spreader and the spinner. Like, you don't It's not really light. light done. I think the hide. But it felt light to me because of the, the last deal. pass mallards are like, so small. Let me shut these um, doors. They'll probably blow open with the Two dozen really of the last passes is but like the same weight as a, a dozen of the uh, live series. So, you know, like, it seemed lighter. But that hide. Drop me a like for that hide because that and hide was awesome. I think that's why awesome. I had such great success today is my hide was on. I had to adapt to the wind and it just seemed to work. Those uh, birds coming off the fields just wanted to work in the marsh. So I'm going to get everything packed up and meet you guys back at the truck. But golly, it was a good Show day. Show us the birds. Show us the birds. There we go. There's the birds. One, two, three, four, five. Twenty gauge. Green head in the morning. Kayak limit. <laughs> All right, we're oh, gonna yeah. end it on that one. All right, guys. So thanks for tuning in. That was a fun one. Let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of this video. This was a very popular one. I think this is the most popular video from this season. It, it has good reason. It means it's a sweet little solo kayak hunt. You guys seem to like those a lot. So. Um, trying to think of different kayak hunts to do in the future if you guys have any ideas or um, you're local to uh, Kansas let me know we'll go hunt I'm always open to travel um, I've been trying to figure out different things to do so um, my ears are always open so if you guys ever want to hook up and go on a hunt together let's go so um, that's about it today uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to leave me a like hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you on the next one.